If I find out that John and Tara had sex, that would be the end of my marriage. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel, Reality Squad. So glad you could join me. So I wanted to talk about a very short segment of the, the latest episode of Life After Lockup and that was with Christiana and John. And I'm just so, I'm so frustrated with Christiana because I'm pulling for her. I feel like her heart is in the right place. She just needs, again, I talk about having the tools for rehabilitation all the time and she it seems like she's trying but it seems like she's easily sucked back into a life that is not good for her so in this episode just take a look at this clip um of her just kind of pondering the last conversation she had with her mom My mom has some concerns that there's something going on between John and Tara. I keep thinking about the vents and what my mom was saying and that she can hear creaking of the bed. I feel insecure. I mean, this is like Tara's room and John's just right over across the hall on the other side. Seeing actually more of their living space downstairs and realizing that the Tara was also living down there. <sighs> if I had to bet money, I would say that they have crossed the line. And that's just my opinion. Um, I don't think, and it seems that John is pretty comfortable with lying to her. He already told her nothing happened. And then, um, Christiana's mom let the cat out of the bag. So I don't think that, um, he is, telling the truth at all whatsoever. This is extremely stressful and causing Christiana a lot of anxiety. So she decides to make a call to her sister. Take a look at this. Hello. Hi, sister. Hey, sister. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm all right. I'd like to see you. Yeah, Um. well, I kind of have to sneak away and see you. Are you gonna get in trouble by your parole or anything for that? No, they're not gonna find out. I don't want you to come here and have John see you, you know. Okay, so you want me to meet you somewhere else? Yeah, at the East Side Park. Oh, okay, yeah, I know, I know what park you're talking about. Okay. Okay, well, I'll get there as soon as I can. Okay. All right, bye. Okay. So this appears to be a violation of her probation. Um, she's not supposed to consort with ex-cons or people with open charges. Um, so, it's really interesting to see her on camera plotting to go see her sister. Uh, this isn't the first time we've seen cast members violate their paroles and probation on camera. We've seen that with Puppy, with her drinking. Um, we saw Maurice literally cross state lines when he wasn't supposed to. So this is nothing new. It's just it's really interesting to me that I wish there was a, a PA on the set that's like, that's you shouldn't do this while we're here type of thing. She admits um, in this clip that she is triggered to start using again. And if she meets, it's 11 o'clock at night when she makes this call to her sister and she's going to some park to meet up with her sister in an area where I'm sure they're familiar with how to obtain bad stuff, contraband. So this is such a bad idea. She knows it's a bad idea. She, she's triggered to use already. This could just lead her off the deep, the deep end. And it's just, it's really heartbreaking to watch because I think Christiana, she has a, a disease. Addiction is a son of a bitch. Um, I don't think that John is the support system that she needs. He comes with a lot of baggage himself with all of his kids. His finances are questionable. Um, while it was noble, we initially thought that he was taking in and caring for her mom and her sister. If this life 
I don't think that this living situation is going to lead to sobriety for Christiana and it's really sad and god it's like do does her mom and sister have literally nowhere else to go because we saw her sister I think she's back living with her ex who was abusive and they used together so that was a really bad idea uh, where was the mom living before I know she has health um concerns <sighs> It's like, is is John really it? Is he really just, that's all. That's all the resources that she has. Because, God, Christiana, I'm just, I want so much better for her. Next week is the season finale of this season of Life After a Lockup, which I'm bummed about because I feel like there's a lot that I feel like I want to see happen. And I don't see how that's going to happen in just one episode. But anyways, um, she does have a confrontation with her sister, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't seen anything about her reoffending or going back to prison, so I'm assuming she is still out. So that's good. That's a positive. Regarding her rumored to be pregnant, I think her brother actually went on social media, and I started uh, recording this. I, I didn't have time to go searching for it seem to dispel those rumors so I don't know we'll see um well I would love to see her be a parent do I think John needs a ninth kid no absolutely not that house has to be chaotic as fuck just all the time with he has three kids living there they have a whole bunch of animals the mom the sister her uh, it's that is that house is just it has anxiety written all over it so let me know what you guys thought of this scene we really only had like this two minute scene but I thought there was a lot to talk about because oh as she's putting on her jacket I'm like no like don't go it's the middle of the night this is just such a bad idea um, and I really, really don't want her to get arrested again or to go down the path of addiction again. I'm really rooting for her. Um, so anyways, you guys, let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye. I need to know, have you been my husband? That's not gonna be good for me. What do you mean? Like, make me wanna use.